My name is Laurelyn McIntyre. I'm an adult intensivist at the Ottawa Hospital, an associate professor within the Department of Medicine at the University of Ottawa, and a senior scientist at the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. Uh, a team of us are studying the use of mesenchymal stem cells for treating a condition called septic shock. Septic shock is the most severe form of infection that we see in the intensive care unit. So septic shock is associated, number one, with a mortality or death rate of anywhere for t from 20 to 40 percent and even upwards of that, depending on the severity and the number of organs that, that fail. The second part is if, you're, if, if you can survive the septic shock, there are devastating consequences for survivors. Sepsis is completely decimating. It is vascular, it damages organs, it damages the brain, it's, it's, it's just totally decimating. And this research actually um, brings hope to sepsis survivors because um, as a survivor myself, it excites me because the outcome for the survivors, it, it's gonna be different from, from what we have now. And they're not left with so much baggage. Well, right now you're in the intensive care unit where a patient with septic shock would be admitted to. So the research that we're doing, which is using mesenchymal stem cells for the treatment of septic shock, what, aims, what we do is we're, we're trying to aim to administer those, those cells in the first 24 hours of stabilizing the patient with septic shock. And the hope in doing this research is that will save lives, will reduce death, but also will be able to reduce the severity and the duration of the org different organs that can fail with these patients in the intensive care unit. And then finally, once the patients recover, we hope that those cells, for the long term, will help our patients recover better, faster, with better quality of life. I love Dr. McIntyre and her team. And I have to tell you, one of the biggest reasons is because she respects um, everyone who's sharing information with her. She listens to all of us. She's been in groups with three or four of us, um, telling her our experience and, and where we've been. And um, she feels it, and she respects it, and she respects you. And it's, there's just a, you don't find that in researchers all the time. Truly, I've been doing this for about 20 years now, treating patients in the ICU with septic shock, and it's devastating. And the more and the more that you, you interact with patients and family, the more and more that have had this problem, the more and more it just drives home uh, how we need to do better. We need to keep looking for treatments that help these patients and their family members. So to be honest, it, it, means, it means everything, really, to try and help them.